So how do we determine or how do we prove whether a given function is a solution to a differential equation? Now that is exactly what we are going to do in today's lesson. The solution of a differential equation is nothing but the function that will satisfy it when the function is substituted into the differential equation. Now let's take an example. That is example one. Let's assume that we are given the differential equation y prime prime plus 4y equals 0 and we are asked to prove whether the function y equals a sine 2x plus b cos 2x is a solution is a solution to the given differential equation we are going to prove whether this function is a solution to this differential equation. So how do we solve this problem? Now to solve this problem, you realize that in this differential equation, we have y prime prime plus 4y equals 0. And then we are giving this to be y. So first of all, we are going to find the second derivative of y with respect to x. And then we substitute that here plus 4 times y also here. And then we are going to check if the value we have on the left hand side is equal to what we have on the right hand side. Now if the two values are the same, then it means that this function is a solution to this differential equation. However, if the two values are not the same, then it means that this function is not a solution to this differential equation. So let's do that together. So we are given y to be equal to a sine 2x plus b cos 2x. Now let's find y prime prime. So to find y prime prime, we first of all need to find y prime. So y prime is equal to, now a is a constant. So we have a here. And let's try to work on sine 2x. So first of all, we differentiate 2x and then we have 2. Now when you differentiate sine, you have cos. So we have cos 2x plus b is also a constant. And so we are going to work on cos 2x. We differentiate 2x, we have 2. We differentiate cos and then we have negative sign. So that becomes negative 2 sine 2x. Now let's simplify this. So we have 2a cos 2x minus 2b sine 2x. So that is y prime. Now for y prime prime, that will be equal to 2a is a constant. So we have 2a and then into brackets, let's work on cos 2x. Now when you differentiate cos 2x, you have negative 2 sine 2x. So let's just plug that here. Negative 2 sine 2x and then minus 2b when you differentiate sine 2x you have 2 cos 2x so 2 cos 2x we also simplify this we have negative 4a sine 2x minus 4b cos 2x so that is y prime prime now let's substitute y prime prime and then y into this differential equation so therefore we have y prime prime plus 4y equals 0 we have y prime prime to be negative 4a sine 2x minus 4b cos 2x plus 4 times y. So we have y to be a sine 2x plus b cos 2x equals 0. 
okay equals zero so let's simplify or let's expand let's multiply four across so we have negative four a sine two x minus four b cos two x then we multiply four across we have plus four a sine two x plus four b cos two x equals zero now here we have negative four a sine two x four a sine two x so they cancel each other again we have negative four b cos two x plus four b cos two x so they also cancel each other and we are left with zero on the left hand side and that is equal to zero on the right hand side so therefore since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side it follows that y equals a sine 2x plus b cos 2x is a solution is a solution to the differential equation y prime prime plus 4y equals 0 so basically this is how to go about the whole solution now let's consider a few more examples so let's try example 2 we are going to show whether or not the function y equals x cubed over 4 plus c over x is a solution of this differential equation so let's do that together so using the same procedure first of all we are going to find the first derivative of this function with respect to x because we have the y dx here and then we plug that and then y into this differential equation to see if the value we have on the left hand side will be equal to the value on the right hand side so we are given y to be x cubed over 4 plus c over x now we can as well represent this as 1 over 4 x cube plus x raised to the power negative 1 times c so let's try to find dy dx so dy dx is equal to now 1 over 4 is a constant so we have 1 over 4 here let's try to differentiate x cube with respect to x so that becomes we are going to drop down the 3 times x and then we are going to reduce the exponent by 1 3 minus 1 is 2 plus we have c to be the constant we do same we are going to drop down negative 1 we multiply by x and then we are going to reduce the exponent by 1 negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 now let's try to simplify this so this becomes 3 over 4 x square minus because of this negative so minus c over x square so x to the power negative 2 becomes 1 over x square and then times c becomes c over x square so this is dy dx now let's plug dy dx and then y into this differential equation so for the differential equation x dy dx plus y equals x cube so we have x times dy dx and that is 3x square over 4 minus c over x square plus y we have y to be x cube over 4 plus c over x is equal to x cube so let's continue with the rest of the solution now we are going to multiply x across from the left hand side so that becomes 3x cube over 4 minus 
xc over x square plus x cube over 4 plus c over x equals x cube now we can cancel out x and then one of the x's here so we simplify this and then we have this to be 3x cube over 4 plus x cube over 4 now because they have the same denominator we can basically add the numerator so 3x cube plus x cube becomes 4x cube over 4 and then here we have negative c over x plus c over x so they cancel each other and we have plus 0 and that is equal to x cube so we can cancel out 4 and then 4 4 goes here once and then 4 also goes here once so that's left with x cube equals x cube now since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side then it follows that it follows that y equals x cube over 4 plus c over x is indeed a solution to this differential equation now let's move on and solve a few more examples now to example 3 we are going to show whether or not the function 2y equals x plus 1 or exponent 4 plus c times x plus 1 or exponent 2 is a solution to the differential equation dy dx minus 2y over x plus 1 equals x plus 1 or cube so let's try to solve this together as well so here we are giving 2y the function 2y equals x plus 1 raised to the power 4 or raised to the power 4 plus c times x plus 1 or raised to the power 2 now in this differential equation we have dy dx that is the first derivative of y with respect to x and so we are going to find dy dx from this function so the first thing we are going to do is to divide through by 2 divide each term by 2 and then we have y to be equal to let's say 1 over 2 times x plus 1 or raised to the power 4 plus c over 2 times x plus 1 or raised to the power 2 now let's find dy dx from this so we have dy dx to be equal to 1 over 2 is a constant so we have that here we maintain that here now let's differentiate this that is x plus 1 or raised to the power 4 using the chain rule so in actual sense we are going to drop down this 4 we are going to differentiate what's in the bracket with respect to x when you differentiate x you have 1 when you differentiate 1 you have 0 so we have 1 here and then you rewrite what we have in the brackets so x plus 1 and you reduce the exponent on it by 1 so that is 3 so same approach c over 2 is a constant now you drop down this exponent which is 2 you differentiate what you have in the bracket you are going to have 1 you rewrite what you have in the bracket and then you reduce the exponent by 1 now 2 minus 1 is 1 so you can just leave that one now let's simplify this so 2 goes here once 2 goes here 2 times so you are left with 2 times 1 times x plus 1 or cube plus 2 goes here once 2 goes here once so you are left with c times x plus 1 so this is dy dx this is dy dx so we are going to plug dy dx into this differential equation so let's do that so we are going to have dy dx so dy dx is equal to 2 times x plus 1 or cube plus c times x plus 1 minus 
minus 2y over x plus 1. Now we have 2y given in the question as x plus 1 all raised to the power 4 plus c times x plus 1 all raised to the power 2 all divided by x plus 1. equals x plus 1 or cube. Now let's simplify further. So we are going to have 2 times x plus 1 or cube plus c times x plus 1 minus now here you have x plus 1 to the power 4 and as the denominator you also have x plus 1. For the other term you also have x plus 1 so it means you can cancel out so you can cancel out this and then you cancel out one of the x plus 1 so this reduces to to the power 3 and then this also reduces to power 1 so that becomes minus now notice that this minus is going to affect each of the things so we can have a bracket here indicating that it's going to affect each of the things so minus x plus 1 or cube and then minus c times x plus 1 equals x plus 1 or cube. Now let's simplify. So here we have plus c into bracket x plus 1 minus c into bracket x plus 1. So this cancels out this. And then we have twice of x plus 1 or cube and then minus 1 of it. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So we are left with x plus 1 or cube on the left hand side and that is equal to x plus 1 or cube on the right hand side. Therefore, since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side then it follows that the function 2y equals you have 2y equals x plus 1 to the power 4 x plus 1 to the power 4 plus c into brackets x plus 1 to the power 2 I think I'm right. Is a solution. Is a solution to the differential equation dy dx minus 2y over x plus 1 equals x plus 1 or cube.